I think innovation itself for Polaris Industries is just something in our DNA. That's what we do. We apply innovation to our vehicles and to how our riders and how our customers use our products and their experiences. Things like connected vehicles, technology on vehicles, is something that just gives us another frontier to innovate on. The core of our direction is to provide a really amazing riding experience. And as we started to incorporate more technology and more digital input into the rider experience, we wanted to keep it very transparent and we wanted it to not be intrusive. So the big challenge for us is incorporate that, make it easy to use, make it invisible so that it's not predominantly a technology thing, but it's still a vehicle thing. PTC Creo Windchill in the company is, I would say, our standard of communication, particularly in vehicle development, is how we're all stuck together and how we talk to each other gives us a way of, of incorporating data that comes from the outside, that comes from our users. We're using connected data across the different life cycles of our product introductions. We're using connected data from our factories, helping us make sure that we understand exactly how our vehicles were built. We're using data from our dealers and from our field to understand how are our riders using our vehicles. Ultimately, that helps us make sure that we can design new features, we can design new products, and help those consumers have the best experiences. Technology innovations, data sciences, analytics, ultimately they help us not only deliver the product to the consumer, but they also help the ownership cycle for that consumer. The biggest tool that I see right now that Polaris is using to innovate today is the use of the digital twin. That's really helping us speed up our designs and get product in the showroom faster, as well as helping out with the quality of the vehicle. As soon as the customer walks in the showroom, we want our vehicle to be the one that pops out and they say, I want to buy that vehicle. I want that one. And that's what the digital process helps us do. The digital twin allows us to share data across the company and create physical models that we can use to then show to potential customers and to upper management to get approval for our designs before we actually implement, making sure we get everything right before we spend the big money to get it into production. You need to have systems in place in the company to be able to take that information in and distribute it to the right parts of the, of the organization to make the changes or use it effectively. We look at vehicle performance, we look at vehicle attributes, we look at how often they interact with different parts of the vehicle. It affects maintenance cycles, or it can also tell something's about to go wrong, you should probably bring it in. Those things, I think, are gonna really enhance the vehicle experience for people in the future, and that's, you know, we're going that way. Our customers are able to go to their configurator, not only to design the vehicle that they want, but to also immerse themselves in that vehicle. Zoom in, view the cockpit, understand what it's like not only to see the vehicle, to be, but to be inside of the vehicle. We're using analytics, we're using data across the spectrum of our vehicles, across the spectrum of our product life cycles to be able to produce high quality vehicles, to have insights that feed back into our design and our validation processes and meet the customer's expectations. 